it's super exciting. Um, really enjoyable. And, uh, like you said, you, you're always ready for a surprise. And uh, like you, it's it's going to be exciting. Looking forward to the year. I, I know you were with the team, you know, a big part of the season last year and certainly during an important part of it. But still, a new spring training site for you, getting a chance to, to meet and learn a lot of new guys. How's that transition going for you? Yeah, I mean, my, my teammates are phenomenal. I'm mean, getting to meet all the new guys. And um, like you said, it's just good to see guys coming back. It's good to, you know, get the team together. Anytime you get to be around your teammates always makes for a, a fun upcoming season. I know you weren't in, in the spring training site last year, but just your sense of what you're seeing, sort of the, the tone. Is there a certain swagger that, that's going on right now that's carrying over from what you guys accomplished last year? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, like we got our leaders in the in the clubhouse, you know, they, they always carry that swagger and, you know, it's, it's hard not to follow it. And um, I think, you know, as a team, you, you kind of feed off of each other and uh, this team definitely has it. Last year, you showed that you can – pick up a pitching staff as quickly as anybody. It seemed like overnight you learned the entire Padre staff last year when you came over and handled them brilliantly. But still, with some of the new phases here, what is it that you want to talk to Blake Snell about and you, Darvish, about and, and Musgrove, those guys, to what helps you to understand how to work with them better? I just I like to, you know, have conversations and uh, just get to know them as a person and then, you know, to see what kind of competitors they are. And, we you know, just watching them on TV and watching them, you know, do their thing. They're definitely big time competitors. And uh, just for me, I'm here to, you know, basically be a servant to them and, you know, help them and whatever they need and whatever I can, you know, help them become better player. Absolutely. That's we're already sharing information. I've, you know, I was able to be with Victor, you know, in one fall league as well. So have a good relationship with him. And, um, you know, we're always bouncing things off each other and how to, you know, help our staff and help our team. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to get to know all our guys and um, get a little bit better. Um, you know, being around them spring training, you get a little bit more time than you do in the season. Obviously, you know, we we're only at the field for a certain amount of time last year. So spring training is going to offer way more time to, you know, get to know our players and get to, you know, be around our teammates. There's so much talent in all our pitchers in this in this organization. That's one thing I notice here is that, you know, we breed a, an extremely competitive and pitcher that, you know, is always getting better. And like I said, these guys continue to get better and it's exciting to catch them. Yeah, so this is kind of an offshoot. Um, Darvish, Musgrove and, um, and Snell, you learned they're coming over. How soon do you start studying? I mean, do you, do you turn on film right away? I mean, when do you start that process? Yeah, I got to face all of them, you know, um in the in the box so um for me I you know I, I, I know what their pitches look like from a hitter standpoint it's just a matter of why and I, I got to watch a lot of tv I see of of Snell and Darvish and all our guys is I mean it's just lining those two up and that's the best part about it, is that you can get two perspectives before you even catch them which you can kind of start formulating a plan and obviously talking to them which is big and because you want to know what they like to do and how, you know what they're successful and what in their minds is what makes them successful do you expect to work elsewhere besides catcher this spring and how much? And what do you think of that? Um, you know, I've been a utility player for the past couple of years. So, you know, I really like to dive into my catching and try to continually improve on that. But um, I could be, you know, obviously emergency situations or um, at any point, you know, any, any time we need, I'm doing whatever I can to help the team. That's basically my bottom line. Has the team asked you about playing other positions this spring? I haven't really talked about it to, you know, with anybody. So, um, I, I have a history of playing other positions. So, I, I mean, I, I'm able to do it. And um, at the end of the day, it's whatever we need to do to, to help us win. Having so many, how can having so many good pitchers with kind of different mixes help make the pitching staff better just in the way they communicate with each other? Like what's the process of that look like in, in terms of kind of the collective maybe being better than the, some of the individuals? Yeah, using each guy's stuff and what they do really well. I mean, that's the big thing is, you know, their strengths, how, how they can, how they get hitters out, what their, what their confidence is, what are their cues to help them, you know, move through and, and have the best, most successful inning that they can have. And I think if you do that over an inning, over, over each out, over each batter, over time that comes into being, you know, obviously a winning club. Um, and, you know, it starts on the mound and um, we have, we definitely have the talent and the guys to be able to do it. And like you said, it's just a matter of learning, you know, what makes them tick. Jay said you worked with uh, Luis Camposano a little bit. What are your impressions of what he could bring? Yeah, I love his energy. Um, he has an extremely gifted, um, just all around work ethic. I love, you know, how he works. I love how he gets after it. And uh, he's taught me so much of just how, you know, how he prepares and learning, you know, how his mind works. And uh, yeah, we've definitely been able to bounce a lot of things off of and work on things, you know, that maybe I need to work on that he he already has in his toolbox and vice versa. So that's been big to be able to bounce some things off each other and, you know, be able to work together in the off season. Hey Austin, you mentioned uh, 
talking to Caratini about Darvish earlier. I was wondering if, if both of you stay healthy, um, hopefully that's the case. Uh, do you expect to catch Darvish at all? And have you caught him in a bullpen yet? You know, like you said, we, it all matters of um, obviously both of us staying healthy and we, we're always there, you know, whatever we need as a team to move forward. I think that's the biggest thing. And um, yeah, like I said, I've caught some guys as well that I'm going to help him with because you never know what's going to happen during the season. I mean, it's a long season. So at the end of the day, yeah, we're just going to continue to bounce information off and how we can make our pitching staff better. Have you caught Darvish yet? I have not. Not yet. I'm guessing you're looking forward to that. Yeah, I, I got a chance to face him in a couple of spring trainings. So um, he's definitely nasty. He's got some unbelievable stuff. So looking forward to being, you know, on the same team. Yeah, we can always build. We can always get better. And um, they're always getting better. I mean, if our rotation, our guys, all our pitchers, like I said, are always working to improve. If you're staying the same, you're you're not getting better in this league. And um, they're always working to improve. So just learning the things that they've worked on in the offseason that they want to move forward with is always big to know and you know how it's developed because I'm seeing it from a different perspective um, Victor and and Campy are all seeing it from different perspectives we can all use that information of what they are trying to get better at and that's how we're going to help our pitchers the best because we're always have to be improving to get better